to shipping mega-sized oil and gas equipment from Singapore to Africa, it all boils down to teamwork. The difficulties that we face is coordination and planning and uh, safety is always a priority. Moving one suction pile a mere 100 meters from the fabrication yard to the wharf is a Herculean task in itself. Moving nine of them, however, makes the task nine times more challenging. The constraint here that we face is the space and all the suction piles are kept in the workshop and we have to use mechanical rollers to roll out the suction piles. Because of its sheer weight, two cranes are needed to hoist each suction pile onto a cometo, a platform trailer used for transporting heavy objects. Once the trailer reaches the quayside, each suction pile will be transferred by a crane barge to move it to Jurong Port as its port of loading. But transferring the suction piles onto the barge can only take place during the high tide. The team has a window period of four hours. High tide help us uh, in a way because we are using a crane barge to hoist up the suction piles. It has its water depth limitation, so we have to do that uh, during the high tide and uh, it gives more uh, space and uh, more deeper draft allow for, to, to allow the crane barge to come in and to hoist up the suction piles. The man in the street will be forgiven for thinking moving is mere physical work. In reality, there is a rationale behind every move. The reason is because we need to spread the weight evenly and you make it easier to tow the barge to Jurong Port. Vessel MP Palesa has called on Singapore. There is little time to waste for logistics firm Blue Water. But before she can leave with the nine suction piles, ballasting needs to be done. This is to prevent the ship from potentially flipping over when the suction piles are transferred. The manner in which the suction piles are placed is a carefully thought out process to ensure that the vessel is well balanced. Each suction pile literally inches towards its final position onto the vessel. So much so, even a heavy downpour is no deterrent for the dedicated team. Most satisfaction in this project was uh, the hard work that our people has been uh, doing. Uh, it was way back in three years ago. And uh, now we finally see that uh, things are moving. And uh, right now we are standing here. We are going to save all the piles and the anchor change. From Singapore to Africa. Timely delivery of lift shafts. Accurate discharging of construction materials. Safe installation of a pedestrian bridge. And the engineering expertise behind transporting suction piles. They are the drivers behind Singapore's logistics industry. Logistics is, the in, is an integration of information, technologies, inventory, warehousing, planning, and coordination. You learn a new thing on every job. Nothing is the same. I have a very good team with me. Uh, together, we are able to have uh, good sessions of uh, discussion, brainstorming, to come out with the solution. Making sure that everything goes well, that's our greatest satisfaction. Story was presented by Singapore Logistics Association.